What's happening, fam? It's not what you're going through that matters. It's what you're going through to get to. So most likely, you're going through something to get to your purpose. And too many times we look up, down, and all around to find our purpose, but we never land on it until when? Until we look within. Because your purpose is something that was placed inside of you by the Almighty. Want me to break it down? <laughs> okay. Well, a bird has never gone to flight school to find its purpose. That was placed inside. A fish has never taken a swim lesson. That's its purpose. It was placed inside. A seed has never attended a seminar to learn how to grow. That's something that was placed inside by the Almighty. And once you find your purpose, what you were born to do, you can never be fired from that. You can never be terminated from that. A bird can fly over a bad economy. A fish can swim through a recession. A seed can grow within a stock market crash. And once you find your purpose, be the best in the world at it. And don't worry about the money part. That will come because money is always attracted to purposeful work. You know why? Money can see it. Money can smell it. Money can taste it. Money can touch. Purpose, 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 purpose. I don't care if you're a sweeper, sweep like Picasso, paint it. If you're a baker, bake like Marie Callender. If you're a nanny, nanny like Whitney Houston sang, like Einstein theorizing, like Frederick Douglass lecture. Find your purpose and explode that part. <laughs> Top of the morning, fam. Hey, you guys remember that uh, commercial, I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> it kind of made me wonder, how many of us have fallen and couldn't get up? I mean, maybe you fell at the job and couldn't get up. You fell in your marriage and couldn't get up. You fell with your parenting and couldn't get up. You fell in a friendship and couldn't get up. You fell with your decision making and couldn't get up. The problem is, sometimes when we don't get up, we give up. So this morning, I wanted to ask you to encourage you to demand that you get up, get up, get up, get up. And yes, I know it takes courage. I know it may require you to swallow a little pride and I know it may hurt, but whatever you do from here is going to require just a little bit of pain. So you have to ask yourself, do you want the pain of regret? or the pain of recovery. <laughs> so go ahead and get on up from it. And I know you have the strength because there was a time in the past when they thought you were too weak to rise, but you did. You accessed your inner strength. The time is now to access that strength and get up from and it. And although it may feel like it, this is not the end of your book. This is merely a chapter. Get on up. <laughs> Let me tell you a little something that I've learned about life's test. A, they're very difficult. B, you never know when they're coming. But when they do come, boy, you better pass or there will be lingering and severe consequences. But the good news is this. When life does present a test, it always comes in the form of multiple choice. Do I quit or keep going? Do I stand up or sit down? Do I lean in or fall back? Do I shout out or shut up? Do I play sheep or turn lion? At the end of the day, the choice will always be yours. So who do you look to when you can't see your way? Who do you talk to when your mouth has lost a desire to speak. I know a guy and his name is not Google. So in times like these, when situations and circumstances punch you directly in the face, it's test time. When cancer creeps into your family, it's test time. When your employer decides to downsize at the worst possible moment, it's test time. When the bills are high but the money is low, it's test time. When your sobriety craves a drink, it's test time. When a hurricane, when a gunman, when a wildfire, testing, testing, so testing. So with tests like these and times like these, you've got to be grounded in your faith. And don't be afraid to send up a couple of knee mails to the Almighty because if we spent more time giving him the 411, we probably would not need him for the 911. So study well, my friend, and turn your tests into testimonies. And I'm out. <laughs>